Man, so I'm actually in the center hole. That's the uh, the motor right there. Um, this is the helm, straight up. You can kind of see the cables. So right now I'm just I'm pulling out all the old wiring from the radar system. I'm just like running the wires out because I actually found someone that might want to buy the old system but it's so old that you can't get the cable for it anymore so trying to do it without just cutting it and uh it's tight down here So I just made the trek down here to Newport Beach. I'm here at uh, West Marine and I'm about to take the Coast Guard Auxiliary Boating Safety class. Uh, I was told that I it was recommended, but then looking into it, it actually turns out that, at least here in California, we are going to have to get a boating license. You know, you, you have to have a license to drive a car. You have to have a license to fly a plane. Or what, you know, why wouldn't you need a license to drive a boat? So my age group actually hits uh, next year in 2020. So I figured, you know, it's not the worst thing to do right now. Um... Brittany is actually sick right now, but if she wasn't sick, she would be having to go to a baby shower. So I'm here doing it myself, and I promised her that I would go do it again with her when the time comes. But um, I think this is an all-day thing. So fortunately, I can't work on the boat today. Uh, I might still try and go there a little bit later and, you know, do a couple small things. I bought a tarp to re, uh, cover the sail and, um, yeah, so wish me luck. Super excited to clean the bottom. Mm, that's a overstatement. I have the heebie-jeebies. I feel itchy. <laughs> I'm very nervous about these alien skeleton things. <laughs> skeleton shrimp? I'm totally freaked out, yes. <laughs> ah. <sighs>
Ah. <laughs> All right. So it wasn't that bad. Um, <laughs> it wasn't that bad, but <laughs> I was really nervous to get in the water, to be honest. It's marina water, which is notoriously dirty water. Um, I was joking around calling it Hazmat Harbor, but we're pretty far from the inlet. We obviously haven't taken the boat anywhere, um, but we were talking to a neighbor in the marina and they said it took them like almost an hour to get to open ocean. Um, so we're pretty tucked back there and that water isn't changing out too quickly. Um, so I was a little nervous to get in it and I didn't want any in my mouth or anywhere else. Um, but yeah, it wasn't that bad. The visibility is terrible. Um, but it was, I mean, it was kind of fun, yeah. actually. It was kind of fun. <laughs> There's cool stuff. Yeah, I had the heebie jeebies and like head. I was like positive that all those weird little creepy crawly skeleton shrimp were like in my wetsuit and everywhere, um, which they weren't, but you know, it was in my head that they were. <laughs> um, yeah. But it was cool. Like there, when we were scraping stuff off, there's like a feeding frenzy of fish underneath you. And so many fish. That was cool. It was cool. But also I asked Sean, I'm like, everything we're scraping off the boat, the fish are happy to eat. <laughs> Why aren't they just eating it off of our boat for us and just cleaning the boat for us? Like we're building them an ecosystem to eat. Why don't they just clean the boat for us? I don't get it. I don't get it. We might have to like catch a bunch of them and then like train them to do it. Yeah. You can, like release them and just let them swim around and do yeah, that. It's just, I don't know. It's bizarre that nothing in the water wants to clean the boat for us. Yeah. Um, but no, it wasn't that bad. It was actually kind of fun. And I felt like accomplished afterwards. Yeah. It was funny. You were like going super slow when you first started. <laughs> <laughs> like by the end, you're like, get me out of this. I didn't know. Honestly, I was like, I was nervous of gouging the boat. Like the side of the spatula is sharp. And I was nervous I was going to gouge the boat. And the next day the boat would be leaking and Sean would be mad at me. And like, I sank the boat. Um, but by the end of it, I was so over the dive. It we dove for almost two hours. Yeah. I was over it and I was still a little bit sick. So at the end, I was just scraping everything I could off the boat to get done with it. I was like, I'm out. Yeah. <laughs> oh. But... Um, our next plans is I got the bilge coat, which was super expensive. It was $125 with a discount. That's crazy. Who would have known? Yeah. I mean, we didn't know. <laughs> uh, it was suggested that we should just paint all the way from the bilge up to the top, but I don't think that. It's just going to be so costly. Yeah. It's. Yeah. One gallon's $125, and we have a lot of square footage to cover inside the boat to repaint every inch of it. I just, cost-wise, it seems a little crazy. Um, so I think we're for sure going to do the bilges with the bilge paint and do it right. Um, but I think that we might have to look at other routes on painting everything else. Yeah. Um, what is the the sealer? Kills. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and right now there's, I mean, we got some issues in the boat. We're all yeah. very, we're a lot of issues on the boat. Um, but one of them being one side has some moldy wood. So we've been treating that um, with a spray to treat the mold so it doesn't spread, kill what's there. Um, and then we need to seal it and then paint it. But I mean, we have to do some cost comparisons, but I'm hoping that using this kills um, wood sealant and then finding a marine grade paint to paint over it is going to be more cost efficient than $125 a gallon. Yeah. I, mean, I have no idea how much that covers either. No. <laughs> like if it just covers like 10 square feet of it. It's crazy. <laughs> like, it's going to be bad. Yeah. 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 So we'll kind of see. Um, but yeah, hopefully this weekend we can con a bunch of our friends into coming down. Offer them beer on the bow of a boat. White cloth. Uh, but actually just hand them um, sanders. <laughs> I think everyone starts sanding our boat because it's a lot to get through. Yeah. <laughs> and then we'll feed them beers after. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we don't want to get to it before. No. <laughs> we like sand some weird spots. Yeah, that's my problem. I yeah. work a little, but I drink a beer and they take a nap on the bow. <laughs> and then I come back in, they work a little. And yeah, so. But it'll be good. Yeah, we need some friends and... It's a lot of work in front of us, but I'm excited to actually start doing something that seems like we're really getting a hold on this boat. I'm so tired of just cleaning. I'm so sick of it. If I hear that vacuum for one more minute. Uh... <laughs> right, Cal? Yeah, he's over it. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. Good. Yeah. Pretty good. Yeah. Well, thanks for watching. Hope you guys continue to follow us through this. Give us any suggestions if you have them. Yeah. What did you paint the inside of your boat with? Yeah. Please let us know. Yeah. Please. <laughs> cool.